What is Guizarme? Bro is like a demon noble royal. Beyond the first tier, we saw the pyramid, the hierarchy, right, of demons. Grim was only like, what, third tier or something? Pazuzu was, what, like seventh or eighth or something? And this Guizarme guy, he is like beyond first tier. He thinks of Grim as fodder because that's how built different these demon lord royals are in the netherworld. Which makes it very interesting as now the antagonist, you know, it opens up a whole new world of strong enemies that Lloyd can fight. Speaking of Lloyd, you know, you know, it, it, Lloyd right now has been kind of getting clapped by Gizarmi, but I think it's expected. I don't think he's actually really trying and he's just kind of, you know, testing the waters and healing him out and trying to understand what's going on. And we're moving maps because we don't want to destroy the castle. So it's looking like we've left, you know, the domain to fight somewhere else. While at the same time, Sofa and Albert shows up, Big Bro, and Big Bro and Sofa are so mad because the last time, all they know is that their little brother's clothing had a lot of suspicious white fluids on it, and now they're here to fucking, you know, cause war against this fucking kingdom who might have done something sussy to our little brother. And Aru is also coming. In the transition scenes, as well as the little bit of the post-credit or the little uh, outro scenes, right? Aru was like, oh, Lloyd's there or something? I'm gonna fucking go, right? So she's gonna show up for another arc. Today's episode might be so, uh, you know, special. Let's begin today's reaction. Oh my goodness, immediately in frame, Sofa. Does Sofa's titties look even different, like here, because of the resolution? Hold up, how does it... <laughs> You guys don't like thick Silpha? You, you, you prefer thin Silpha? Come on. Thick Silpha. Wide Silpha. Thin Silpha. Wide Silpha. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the normal resolution. In one blow, she'll cut off. Oh, hi, hi. And yet. She's so fucking strong. This thing's still spinning after cutting. This sword is bent. We need those OP swords. Imagine Sofa using the magic transmuted, you know, the swords that we made. I thought the spinning itself was already crazy. She fucking peeled it like this is a fucking daikon at a fucking high, high expensive like Japanese restaurant where they fucking peel the fucking daikon. Thin layer, what the fuck? The sword is holding her back. She needs a better sword. Yeah. You need a better sword? <laughs> Silver's blade of today's episode. Damn. <laughs> they met before? <laughs> the Assassin's Guild got hunted down by Silva before? If only Silva and Albert knew who did, you know, the sussy shit to the clothing. Because, like, Baldi's right here. You better be fucking hiding. Don't let anyone know what he did to Lloyd's clothing, bro. Because they're only here because of that right now. <laughs> but... Crow no oh, Silpha before. Uh, oh, what? No, they're chill! We're friends now! Got it, Ew. Honestly, he might get his head caught off, though. So I'll kill somebody. Hmm? Promise. Right, because we are like smurfing stone. We don't want Silpha. They don't know how strong we really are. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, what do you say? That Gizarmi kidnapped Lloyd and went somewhere else? But then that would make them go for Gizarmi and I think these guys would die if they did that. What kind of lie can we do? Sofa's about to fucking cut Baldi's head off. Sofa <laughs> <laughs> said, no, I'm gonna kill these kids. Fuck them, kids. 
Okay. Where the fuck did we get this fan merch for Albert? Oh no! Oh no! Who did this? Who stained my little brother's underwear? You could have just said something so different. You can't just start off by saying my fluid. You need to explain what your fluids are. Listen, Albert, I have this power. And sometimes I excrete this sticky web that looks like jizz. I'm sorry, it is the way it is. And it was covered like that by accident. But no, bro, just go with him. I covered your little brother's underwear in my fluid. <laughs> brother, <laughs> brother, what are you doing? <laughs> Yeah. No, no punishing Ren. Good answer. Ren just clutched toward us. Sofa's like, I don't give a fuck. I'm starting with the kids first, bro. Off with your head. Oh, let's go, princess. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up just ate that demon. Alright. You can trust the beasts. わかった。今はディルの直感を信じよう。シルファ、すぐにロイドと合流。救出してくれ。Sofa that was the purple pillars that he used. Oh, they can swim pretty well. Leadership! Strategy! Oh, there's a considerable force down there. Which one? Albert? It's gotta be Sofa, right? It's gotta be Sofa, right? But like, so they were like, kind of just talking like, Alright, how, how are we gonna fight in peace? So we're just kind of working together. So Gizarme is working with us to make sure they can fuck, like, you know, destroy the bridge. They want a good fight. <laughs> Who is it? Sofa? Nah, I don't care. What? That was a... Uh, I mean, I guess the warning for Gizarmi there was... I, I can't pry my eyes off of you. I mean, it's cause... This kid for fucking some reason has a BBL. Like, why, why, why? Yet I find myself unable to pry my attention from you. And it just gives a fucking scene of his goddamn ass, bro. Like... Why is this the most caked up anime character this season? Like, why? Of all the characters in this current anime, none of the girls' butts are fully developed. But, like, this kid is. Why is this the only thing, bro? Bro, these animators need to learn from this show and apply this booty physics to fucking girls. We're gonna fight with the sword, yeah? The swords, yeah. <laughs> they were spamming fireballs. Oh! Oh, oh my god. It's a bad attrition. We're gonna lose at this rate. Maybe Aru will show up and clutch for us, but the problem is these like infinite, almost like immortal bodies that keep regenerating. Can we like seal them? What do we do? Silpha? She's left? <laughs> jump this? You wanna jump this? Silpha, you might have to swim. The fuck? He could talk? Just when the f when the when the fuck have we ever heard Shiro talk before? Have we ever heard him talk? Oh, uh, okay. This is new to me. Yeah, yeah. So it's not easy. This is not a dumb dog. Nah, he's tried his best. He's gone. 
What is this camera angle, bro? Oh my goodness. What the fuck is this angle right now? <laughs> He's like, what, tier 8? Is he tier 10? Okay, so same as Pazuzu. Egghead is suddenly so fucking epic, man. Like, okay, I thought that this guy was a joke, a comedic relief, but like, shit, he might be him. Yeah, 8th rank. Pazuzu was 8th rank. Humpty Dumpty Demon is the same as him. I've been training. <laughs> Ow! It is a poop! It's a fucking dookie hat! So fast right! Turn head. Ah, shit. Are we about to fucking cut off all the immersion and momentum and just gonna need do fucking intermission scene here? No, we're not! Okay. Okay, guys, that's not the You okay, that's the guy. Thank you for telling me your name. I actually forgot it. I'm sorry. What, he's got a nice of a killer? Demons with meat suits. So there's really no way to bring Jade back, huh? So my understanding was Jade would every time like 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 I thought that his soul was still intact, but like Basically, Gizarme took over and it's in prison, but I think the soul is gone, right? The soul is gone. Jade is pretty much, quote unquote, dead, right? But there's gotta be a way to bring him back and have a happy ending, unless the show's gonna take a dark turn. I, I don't. <laughs> he died. Like, of all the powers that Lloyd's bullshit powers is, you don't think something like that's possible to bring Jade back? <laughs> Put them down. Dropping meteors on him. Alright, shoot to kill. Was he always built like, was Babylon always built like that? I, I didn't realize how much fancier is there was a Babylon also, bro. What, what the, what the fuck? Okay. Let's go. Sofa versus Egghead. Sorry, Poophead. That's so strong. I can't take it seriously. Yakko! Nick, Nick. The amount of blades and the arm after images on the dragon wind rising unholy centipede. You do look like a fucking centipede like this, man. Look at the arm. I was gonna say Pinocchio. What the fuck? Yo, this poop head egg guy is actually legit. I'm sorry, this is better in Demon Slayer right now. What fuck are we doing in Demon Slayer, bro? Oh, the hair is off. He's up. Ah, a little bit of a tie, a little bit of a tie. Don't think about it. You can be able to get him. That's the then we might as well kill him with one hit. Wasn't she trying to prepare something in the beginning scene, right? She's like, I gotta do something better. She has a better sword now or something. One shot technique incoming. <laughs> I don't blame you, but bro, bro, bro on Sofa's body, I think. <laughs> it's like, fuck this Humpty Dumpty looking ass, bro. F fuck this Humpty Dumpty, bro. Fuck, I, yeah, give me that maid. Give, give me the big titty maid body. 
joke. That's right. For the sake of power, guys. For the sake of power. Nothing degenerate here. So how's Langris right here? We are Lloyd. It's not Lloyd Langris, right? Langris is Sylpha's family. We don't know anything really about Sylpha or how she even became to be here. She used to be like a famous adventurer, right? That's why Crow was kind of aware of her because of the bounty from the past, right? In the Adventurers Guild. But like beyond that, we don't know shit. We're like Sarum, right? So Langris is her family. You ever gonna get like a Sylpha backstory? <laughs> ロードストリート。ロードストリート。ロードストリート。ロードストリート。ロードストリート。ロードストリート。ロードストリート。ロードストリート。ロードストリート。ロードストリート。ロードストリート。ロードストリート。ロードストリート。ロードストリート。ロ
language technique has this name technique as well. Flowing, flowing made a hug. How cute. <laughs> That's right, Sofo. I look at you all the time. You got no idea. Dirofa. <laughs> Just cut him out. Loifa, what a great name! Alright, the sword is called Loifa. Siloid. Demon slaying sword. The demon's bane. Right, there is no logic. They're just here to just fuck shit up and have fun. Enough of making Jade their insults. Ren's gonna cry. Stop it. Oh, these are angry tears. Careful now. <laughs> Sofa really hates lollies. I don't know. Sofa loves the Shota. Yeah, Sofa hates the girls, bro. <laughs> Battle! Oh, shit! And then this just gets fucking cut. Do some anime. Do the anime samurai shit, bro. Oh. One draw technique. Let's go. Let's go. Yokado. Oh, <laughs> Do we even see it? Do, 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 that, that was like separate. I can't even count. Look at the seconds happening in the top right corner. I can't even capture Sofa in the seconds. Everything has happened in like. There's like 60 frames right now. Look. Ho, ho. Ho. That looks like reverse grip the entire time, too. So ironic. That's blade, dude. Iko. Agito. Leading Tiger Fight, that is today's episode of Seven Prince. Or should I say it's about fucking Sofa, bro? Oh my god, today's ep I mean, what was the episode title? Wasn't it literally fucking Sofa or something, right? It's crazy how strong this girl is. And in the beginning, we were already introduced to Lloyd and Sofa sparring. You could see how well Sofa was keeping up despite Lloyd not trying hard, but like she is pretty fucking strong. Language techniques, this is her family. I don't know anything about them. They have a hug technique, apparently. I think she made that shit up. But after that, like, I don't know. She just became like a famous adventurer. Now she's serving as maid here. But clearly, the Langris family, their techniques are fucking insane, bro. The one thing that was holding her back was her actual weapon. And with it, she can just kill a demon in one shot. And now that Mr. Egg Turdhead has been sliced up, bro... What? He's dead, right? If you die as a demon you know, possessing a human body, you are done as a demon as well. That is the thing that I was not aware of. So there is a way to be Gizarme. But that means that we have to kill Jade's body. But Jade is apparently dead. So it doesn't fucking matter also. Why is this sword so erotic, man? It's this lacy frill thing that's going around this fucking scabbard, man. They manage this author, honestly. He's a genius. He's able to make fan service out of a fucking sword scabbard like this. This is fucking peak design. And honestly, this show, like, straight up, it's a lingerie sword. Fuck House of Langris, bro. It's the House of fucking Lingerie. That's what they should have done this. Family, like, laundry technique. Fucking, I don't know, still letters or some shit. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.